guys, it's Jess, welcome back. So today I'm at the barn and Lily has some sort of funky little insect something or other going on in her neck that I noticed yesterday. So we're for sure gonna give her a bath and try to clean them up and get a way better look at them. And I might run, I might not, I don't know. But it's gonna be a pampering day for Lily. So she had some weird little scabs here yesterday and I'll insert some pictures after this and they were little yellow scabs and i've never seen really anything like it and then it was kind of swollen in this triangle shape you'll see it in the picture and today it's not very swollen at all compared to yesterday and i don't feel any more bumps and i can't find little pink scabs anymore so that is good woohoo trotting the ground's still a little mushy because we had so much rain now i'm going to i walk her out like when i'm riding her but i also like to walk her out by hand just because it calms her down more and then let's go pamper up this pony had the little the scabs on it yesterday just to be safe that it's all good but I'm not gonna scrub too hard because I don't want to take off new good scabs. Also put it on her legs just to let it soak just as a preventative measure because of all the rain and then I'm going to do her mane and tail with shampoo and let that soak and then I'll rinse it all off and then I'll shampoo her whole body and put conditioner in her mane and her tail. Okay, so I have rinsed the soap off. So basically I got like the majority of it off, as you can see. And while I get the rest of it off, I'm gonna let her mane and tail soak in some conditioner. And then I'm going to get the rest of the soap off. And yes. Also, what I used earlier was faded iron on that one little spot and then on her legs. And then I used normal shampoo and I mixed it with Vetrolin White and Bright because this stuff is amazing. Purple shampoo for a white horse. 
amazing. I don't even like show anymore. I mean, I barrel race, but she doesn't need to be clean to do that. And I love, 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 love this stuff. But it's more expensive than just a normal shampoo. And I love this shampoo too. It just doesn't get her as white. So I mix those. And I also cleaned her uh, teeth. And um, then I just used normally any kind of conditioner, but I really like this one too. Spray it off. All the soap and conditioner is out. And she is squeegee. So a little trick I have to keep them clean after. This is Shoshin from like a gallon bottle and I put it in an old fly spray bottle. And I just spray her on the neck, shoulders, down the legs. I skip the saddle, saddle area over her butt, down her leg, over her butt, down the legs, skip the saddle, and that just helps keep dirt off them because she goes and rolls after. It also makes her really soft. I just brushed some of this oil into her hair. You can use Cowboy Magic or um, main conditioner type oil, but I'm just gonna use up the rest of this as I go. And her hair was super brittle. She's turning around. Where are you going? Okay. <laughs> her hair was super brittle, so this just helps like put some moisture back into it. So I brushed it into her tail and then into her mane. It also helps her mane dry faster when um, you detangle it right away. Put some fly spray on her, some hoof flex. She doesn't really have thrush, but I kind of do it like as a pre uh, preventative measure every week or so. Where are you going? Okay. Um, and then I just put a little bit, oh, I guess they're both hoof flex. I don't know, this is like for thrush. And then I put this around her top of her hoof wall and then a little bit on her heel. Let the girls out into their big pasture and they're not gonna be out there for long, maybe like 15 minutes. It's still a little wet, but it's not bad at all. It really dried up fast. Um, so we're gonna start probably next week slowly easing them on to letting them be out there all the time. But there's just too much grass to let them be out there all the time right away. Okay, so now I have sweeped the barn, picked everything up, and I'm gonna go try to entice the girls somehow to come back. I don't know how well that will go. Um, and then I'm gonna put a little bit more liniment around where she was swollen yesterday by those uh, little scabby bug bite type situations. And then I'm gonna call it a day because I'm already pretty, pretty burnt, so yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. See you next time.